Um, so these are the steps to make an optimization or how to solve an optimization problem. Um, you could just pause the video. So you first find out your two equations. Um, rearrange the uh, equation to find like a value for a, for a valued equation. To solve that variable, try to use the simplest variable. Um, plug it in into a minimum or maximum equation. Simplify, find the derivative, set to zero, solve to a variable. Um, use the sign diagram to check, and then plug it in back to the original. Um, into a valued equation to find your other uh, value, and so it's that simple. So let's get. So you find the question is to find the dimension of a rectangle with an area with the 1,000 meters squared, where the perimeter is as small as possible. So first, you draw your rectangle or your drawing so you call the width x and the height of y so you're trying to minimize so the perimeter will be 2x and 2y and that's what you're trying to minimize in this case so eventually you will have to take a derivative of this and so this will be your constraint and the area will be 1000 equals x times y and so you're going to use this constraint and plug it in and plug this in in there so you just divide both sides by x to get 1000 divided by x equals y so it's y by itself so you plug that into this equation, it will be p equals 2x plus 2, 2 times y, which is going to be 1000 over x. So, yeah. And now you simplify it here. So 2x, 2x plus x minus 1. Uh, I put negative 1 because... So taking my derivative would be easier, or at least for me, it will be kind of clearer. So, so you find the derivative. So it'll be two x. The derivative of two x is two. So minus two thousand x to your negative second. So now you're trying to find the critical numbers of this equation. So it's. 2 minus 2,000 over 2x. Finding critical numbers, I like to put this number in fraction, so it'll be easier to multiply. So you will get 2x squared minus 2,000 over 2x. So the critical numbers would be 2x squared minus two minus two thousand equals zero and so you just solve it so x squared equals one thousand and then you get to get rid of that you square root it so x equals square root of one thousand and so unfortunately that's not a nice whole number so I'm just gonna leave it like that so if you set the bottom to zero, it will equal zero. So, but it doesn't make sense if you put x equal to zero. So you won't even have a, you wouldn't have any rec any rectangle at all. So it won't be a math number, a critical number. To check you can use this the sign diagram so you put the square root of thousand x has to be at least zero so you plug it back in to this equation 
so you're going to get a negative number. So the perimeter will go decreasing down. And if you're trying to get higher than higher than um, square root of 1,000, it will be a positive number, which will go up. So that will make it the actual critical number, which will be your actual x equals square root of 1,000. And you plug that back in, and you plug that to this equation. So it'll be one thousand. So your x will equal the square root of one thousand. So now you just plug that back in. So the area has to equal 1,000, so, so it will have to be 1,000. It's a weird square, a rectangle, it will be a weird rectangle, it be kind of of a square because it would be 1,000 oh, one, two square roots of 1,000 so that would be it